Hi guys, Mr. Rice here, uh, and today we are going to uh, do some game tutorials, some game maker tutorials in Make Code Arcade. Specifically, we're going to start making a platformer, uh, just a very simple platformer baseline in Make Code Arcade. Uh, and we'll walk through the tutorial step by step, and I'll show you how to do anything. Uh, in case the tutorial is not quite clear enough for you. So let's go ahead and look at Make Code Arcade. So if you're in the Make Code Arcade website, uh, you can click right under tutorial. They say new try this game maker guide. So I'll put this link in the chat directly as well. You can see there's learn to use Make Code, design a space explorer, and learn to make a platformer. So let's do the first one here called Simple Platformer. Learn how to make a player character that can jump around and move around a tile map. Okay. I'm going to restart my page. Okay. So, simple platformer. Now, let's take a look at a side scrolling platformer. This kind of game peeks in on the action from the side using jump and run as the main mechanic. By the time you finish this set of tutorials, you should know all you need to make a fun and engaging arcade game worth sharing. So you can kind of see in the little monkey gif here, a platformer is a game where you're looking at the character from the side, and usually you're moving from one side of the screen to the other side. Think of like Mario games or Sonic games. Those are platformers. Okay, so let's start making a simple platformer. The first thing any good platformer needs is a main character. In arcade, our characters are sprites. We want to create a main sprite and get it moving before we do anything else. So it says in the tutorial, from the sprites category, drag the set my sprite to sprite of kind player block to the end of the on start container. So in the sprites toolbox, set my sprite to goes to the end of on start, just like this. Now it says click on the gray box in the middle of your set my sprite to block to open the sprite editor. From there, you can switch over to gallery and choose a pre-drawn character. And it says if you don't like any of the pre-drawn characters, stay in the editor and create one of your own. So let's click on this gray square here. Now you'll notice you get a big pixel art drawing canvas here. So you could draw your own character. In fact, I encourage you to do that. Instead though, I'm going to pick one from the gallery. So why don't we pick a character from the gallery here? Maybe I will pick, oh, I'll pick this little character here. There we go. Done. Okay, if you did it correctly, your character should show up in the middle of the screen right there. Uh, okay, let's click next. Now we need to get the player moving. Drag a move my sprite with buttons block to the end of the on start container. So that's, you'll notice it's orange. I'll click on controller, move my sprite with buttons. Put it right there. Click the plus button on the new block and change the VY, that's for vertical velocity, argument to zero. So the player won't move up or down with the joypad. So right now you'll notice my character moves up, left, right, down. You see it moves all over the screen. But a platformer, we shouldn't be able to move them up. They should only be able to go left and right. So click the little plus button here. VX is 100. That's good. Keep that number at 100. The VY number should be zero. Okay, so now my character can only move left and right. It cannot move up and down. Perfect. Okay, click on next. To make the game feel more realistic, let's add some gravity. To accomplish that, we add acceleration to pull down our sprite. So drag a set my sprite X to zero block to the end of the on start container. Now, if you're ever confused where to find these blocks or what it should look like, you can click on the picture as well and it shows you exactly what to do. Okay, so set my sprite X to is found in sprites right there. Put it at the end. Click the drop down to change X to AY, acceleration Y. 
So click on the X, notice there's a little arrow drop down, and we want A, Y, acceleration Y. Replace the zero with 500. Now, let's watch what it does in the simulator here. Now, my character, you'll notice, drops down. Did you see that? It's like gravity pulled her down from her starting point to the top of this dial here. Perfect, that's like gravity. If you wanna make stronger gravity, pick a bigger number. If you want weaker gravity, pick a smaller number. Now that the player is on the ground, we can make them jump. Let's attach a jumping action to the A button. Start by dragging an on A button press block into the workspace. So click on controller, on A button pressed, right there. Inside of that, add set my sprite X to zero. Okay, so sprites, same block again, set my sprite X to zero, but now at this time it goes in on A button pressed. Choose the attribute for the player's vertical velocity, that's the up-down speed. Click the drop-down menu and change X to VY velocity Y. The player will jump upward if you change zero to something smaller. Try negative 150 or negative 200. Okay, so let's try negative 200. So now when I click the A button, let's see what happens in our simulator. Look at that, my character jumps up and then comes back down because of gravity. If I press it two times, it should jump up two times, perfect. Uh, so why is it a negative number, you might be asking? Well, this, uh, when you're coding in Make Code Arcade, in the simulator here, when you work up the screen, uh, up the Y axis, you're actually getting a smaller number. So it's starting from zero at the top to 120 pixels at the bottom. So since you're starting at zero at the top and 120 at the bottom, to go back up, you need to subtract or a minus number. So that's why our velocity is a negative number, whereas gravity, what was pulling us down, is a positive number. It's a little bit backwards when you think about it. So that's it. We have created a simple platformer game. Your character can move left and right with the arrow keys, and it can jump with the A button. I'm just using the keyboard rather than the buttons on the simulator. Uh, so that's all it does right now. The character can jump around on this tile map that has already been created. In future missions, we will adjust things in this tile map, but for now, it's a good baseline for you. Okay, now to submit your code onto Canvas, you might have to click Finish here, okay? So when you click Finish, you can go back into your game, click view code, or you might need to click save my save to my projects. So if you click save to my projects, now you've saved a copy for yourself in your regular make code page. Notice this is simple platform right there on my screen. Opening up the program now gives you a share button. So you can click share, publish project, which gives you your shareable URL code. That's how you can share your game with your teacher, with your friends, anyone who has this code can play your game now. Uh, so that's it. That's how to make simple platformer in Make Code Arcade. Stay tuned and we'll do the rest of the missions in this tutorial as well. Bye now.